Hello guys, welcome back to the another exciting video. Today let's explore a powerful tool that brings smooth transitions and enhanced user experience to your applications. Welcome to the world of animated visibility in Jetpack Compose. This built-in composable animates the appearance and disappearance of its content. So let's jump into the Android Studio and see how it animates. So here let's create a new file. So here first I will take a box layout and in that box layout I will use a box and a button. So here So here I have taken this box layout and in this box layout I have this button and this box and this button is aligned in the bottom center and this box will be in the center. So let's first minimize these imports and we will animate the visibility of this box. So here let's use that animated visibility. So here we need to provide this visible state. So let's create one state. So we will use this is visible state in this visible. So with the use of this is visible state it will animate the visibility of its content. So for the content, let's use this box. And we will change this is visible value on this buttons on click. So we will inverse this value. So now let's use this composable function here and run our app. Let's press start button and here we can see our box has been appeared. So again let's press this button. So it has been disappeared. So we can see our animated visibility is working perfectly fine. Let's first minimize this and here we have few more parameters also. Here first we have this enter animation. So we can provide the enter animation and also we can provide the exit animation. So here let's press control B. So we can see by default it is using this fade in plus expand in enter animation for this box. So when we press this start button so we can see it is fading and then expanding also. And on this exit animation they are using the shrink out and fade out as the default. So le again let's press this start button. So we can see it has been shrink out and that fade out. So what more transitions we have. So for this let's go to the Google and here let's type enter exit animation compose. Here we have this first link. So let's scroll down. So here we can see different enter and exit transitions examples. So we can see we have this fade in, fade out, slide in, slide out and these other also. So for our box let's use this shrink horizontally and expand horizontally. So this is giving error. 
we are using this as the exit transition so let's remove it from here and use it here and here let's use that expand horizontally now we can run our app again so here let's click on this button and we can see we have this another exciting animation for this animated visibility i have a good use case you must have seen in your gallery app when you long click on your photos so a more option bottom bar expand from the bottom so we will create this composable so for that here let's minimize this and here let's create one more composable function with the name more option bottom bar so here again let's use that box layout and this value also so here in this box layout first i will use an image for this image let's paste one more image in our drawable so we will use this snake image so here let's use this animated visibility and this is visible state so first let's create one more composable function and in that composable function we will design the bottom bar so here let's use that navigation bar from the material 3 library and here let's use that navigation bar items so we need to provide these three values let's put these on the separate line and for this select let's use this false and we won't provide these on clicks and these icons let's use this icon composable so here we can use some random icons so let's copy this navigation bar item and paste it four more three more times and for the second one let's use this delete only we will use this last on click on this close icon so here let's create one parameter with the name on close click and scroll up so we will use this bottom bar in our animated visibility function so on this on close click we will change our is visible value to false and when we long press on this image we will change the value of this is visible to true so here we have this modifier so for the long press we have this modifier called combined clickable so here we can use this on click so on this on click we can provide something like open the image so i will just put the command and next i will provide this on long click so we can also provide this on double click so here let's use this on long click so we will make our is visible state value to true so this combined clickable is giving error so we can obtain this experimental foundation api so now let's use our function in our main activity 
and run our app. So here we have our image. So let's press long click. So we can see our our more option bar has been appeared. So let's press close. It has been disappeared. But this is not at the right place and also the enter and exit animations are not as we expected. So we need to change these two things. So let's minimize this and here first thing we need to align this animated visibility to the bottom center. So here we can use the modifier. And next thing we can use that enter and exit animations. So here we can use slide in vertically this one and here slide out horizontally this one. So here let's also customize the animation spec. So when we press control B on this we can see by default it provides this spring animation. So we will use the twin. Here also let's provide this. And now we can run our app again. So here let's press long click. So we can see our bottom bar is at the bottom center and press this close. But we can see that enter and exit animation is not as we expected. This is because we have not provided one parameter. So here in this slide in vertically, we have one more parameter. Let's press control P. So we can see last we have this initial offset Y. So we also need to specify the initial offset. So here we will provide this with the help of these parentheses. So we will say full height to height like this. In the same way we can provide for this slide out vertically. So here again when we press control P. So this time we have this target offset Y. So again let's use this full height to height. So what does it mean? So when it will slide in vertically, so it will start somewhere below the screen and then it will slide in vertically to full height. So when it will slide out, so it will slide out to full height. It means it will go below the screen. So let's run our app. So here let's long press. So here we can see our bottom bar is appearing and disappearing as we expected. So that is all for this video. In the next video we will look into that crossfade animation. Thanks for watching.